I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting questions, and contributing by making excellent suggestions. Now, here is a question from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how to solve a work done problem. The question here is three workers can do a job in 12 days. Two of the workers work twice as fast as the third. How long would it take one of the faster worker to do the job himself? Now, how to solve such a question? Let's look into what we need to figure out. We say, how long would it take one of the faster worker to do the job himself? So let us be X days. Let's say faster workers, we are writing in short form, right? Faster workers in X days. Let's say the faster worker takes X days. Then the slower one will take how many days? Two X days, correct? So that is kind of important. You are doing a job faster, that means you are taking less time. Slower means you are taking more time, correct? So that really means that when you are doing complete job, this is X days to complete job, right? So this is two X days for complete job. So now you have to think about rate, right? So whenever you're doing work done, you have to think about rate. Rate basically means what? Rate means in one day, how much job can be done? Say so in one day, that is rate. In one day, faster worker will do how much? So the complete job is done in X days. So in one day, one over X, of the complete job. Do you understand? So for the slower worker, it will be 1 over 2x in one day. Do you understand? Now, the question says three workers can do a job in 12 days. So this particular job to be completed, three workers, out of which two workers work twice as fast as the third. So we have two fast workers, right? So these are one day for faster worker, one day for slower worker, it is this much. Now think about, once we know rate, think about the whole job being completed in 12 days. That is what is given to you, right? So if it is in 12 days, the whole job is completed, then there are two faster workers, correct? So in one day, he will do one twelfth so in 12 days, these faster workers will do 12 over X, correct? Plus 12 over X. These are the two faster workers. And the slower worker will do, well, he is also working for 12 days. So 12 over 2X. And complete job, whole job means 1. Do you understand? So 1 indicates complete job. whole work. So that is one. Do you understand? And these are your 12 days. So in 12 days, when they work together, then the faster worker will do 12 over X portion of the job. The slower will do 12 over 2X portion of the job and you get your equation. You get the idea. So always the equation is pretty simple. So once you know how much time each takes to complete the job, if you don't know that, just put X and you get your equation. Now, it is a matter of solving. We could simplify this, <coughs> correct? We can add these two at least. So adding these two and simplifying this, let me rewrite. We can write 12 over X plus 12 over X plus cancel by two, six over X equals to one. If I multiply by X, I get 12 plus 12 plus 6 equals to x. Does it make sense to you? Right? So 12 plus 12 is 24 plus 6 is 30. So what was x? Faster worker in x days can complete the job. So 30 days, right? Which is our option B. Is it clear to you? 
So it's a very simple question if you see it this way. Otherwise, it becomes really complicated. You understand? So these are the steps involved to solve such questions. Now, once you know how to do it, you could have directly written this equation in that form and solved it in, in a minute. Do you understand? So these questions can actually be solved in a minute or even lesser than a minute when it comes to multiple choice test papers. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.